today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, bring you comics news, reveal the books I bought this week, and give away five t-shirts just like this one. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the 400th episode of the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that intro! to get to this point but I'm glad I'm here and I'm not going to um, look back on some of, of, the, of the things that happened before because there's really no looking back you can only remember back and uh, because sometimes when you look back and I've said this before when you look back you sometimes get stuck there and I don't want to get stuck there it's all about moving forward but um, I just think about how far I've come along the way and I know that the best is still yet to come and I want to thank each and every one of y'all that have been with me since the very first episode. And um, y'all just have no idea how, how overjoyed I am right now. But this is the 400th episode of Comic Hero T. And um, here on the left sleeve is 400. And here on the right sleeve is the show logo. Now, I gave y'all explicit instructions to either like, love, or leave a positive comment by this shirt on social media. And quite a few of y'all have done so, and because y'all have done so, at, at the end of this episode, I'm going to draw five names. And um, again, that's at the end of this episode, but for right now, speaking of t-shirts, it's time to get away a t-shirt I usually give away. Around last week's episode, I asked, which sea animal does Aquaman not have a telepathic link to? Well, the correct answer is a dolphin. And the reason for that is because dolphins are, are highly intelligent, where, whereas all the other sea animals that Aquaman has telepathic links to are not. Well, the correct answer is a dolphin, and 11 people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, the name's been in the drawing for a free tea. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free team for this week's episode of the show is... Brittany Montoya from Shreveport, Louisiana. So congratulations, Brittany. You win yourself a free comic hero team. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a Marvel question. Which Marvel character owns Area 51? Now, oh, that's right. In the comics, there's a Marvel character that... that um, that owns Area 51. But here are the hints. The first hint is that this Marvel character is a founding Avenger in both the comics and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then the second hint, this is a dead giveaway. This character that has appeared in Marvel movies from 2008 to 2019 and was played by Robert Downey Jr. You should be able to get it now. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. All right, now the Comic Hero Story Now Showdown segment is reserved for fans to make requests, but every once in a while, I like to come up with one. And this one features a very strong and powerful character from the DC Universe going up against a very strong and powerful character in the Marvel Universe. Representing DC, we have Bane, or should I say, Bane! And representing Marvel, we have the Juggernaut. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Bane versus the Juggernaut. Bane, or should I say, 
Bain is a genius level tactician, skilled hand to hand combatant, and martial artist who possesses superhuman strength and physical attributes via the drug Venom. The Juggernaut possesses superhuman strength, stamina, and durability, and vulnerability via the mystical force field, and immunity to mental attacks via his helmet. Who will win? The Juggernaut is a destroy first, ask questions never character, so he charges at Bane. The latter jumps over Bane and somehow rips the Juggernaut's helmet off. While Juggernaut is stunned by this, Bane repeatedly punches the Juggernaut in the face and head and tries to end the fight by breaking his back. This proves to be unsuccessful due to the mystic force field protecting the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut, while Bane is stunned, generates some offense of his own by delivering a vicious backhand to Bane. He immediately notices the device strapped to the back of Bane and the tubes connected to it that end throughout different parts of his body. The Juggernaut rips the device off of Bane's back along with the tubing and destroys it. Bane is defenseless against the Juggernaut, especially after the injuries he suffered. Bane then ends the fight by breaking Bane's back. The Juggernaut concludes by saying, Say no to drugs, man. The Juggernaut wins. And that concludes this fight on the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Alright, well I hope you all enjoyed that fight. I'll have another one for next week. Now if you want to request a fight, you can do so. But I have rules. The first rule is that a comic book or manga character must be involved in this fight. The second rule, this comic book or manga character can go up against any other comic book or manga character, a video game character, or a science fiction or serious minded cartoon character. I'm talking about characters like Voltron, Optimus Prime, Lion-O, you know, anyone like that. Alright, now it's time for Comically Speaking. So without further ado, let's talk comics! Alright, there are two things I want to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking. Here's the first. Now, a few days ago, I decided to, try to drive to Eldorado, Arkansas. I went to the comic book store there called Gabe's Cave Comics and Collectibles. Um, I thought, now here's the thing, I didn't know this comic book store was open. But then when I went there, I found out that it's been open since October of last year. Well, I went there, and let me tell you, um, that store does not disappoint at all. I mean, they had comics, they had um, they had games, they even had game rooms, and and um, they had the most ridiculous variety of pop vinyls I have, I've ever seen. Now, when I went there. I was, you know, I went there with the sole purpose of, of trying to fill some holes in terms of comics. But I almost walked out of there buying a pop. But I told them, I'm going to come back one day and I'm definitely going to buy a pop. And, oh my gracious, if y'all, y'all need to go out and support this store. If you live near or far, especially if you live in North Louisiana or South Arkansas, y'all need to visit this store. Oh man, this, um, you know what, I... I said that once this curve, um, that is the, the coronavirus pandemic finally flattens, I'm going to go on, on uh, random road trips to different comic book stores across the country. And um, honestly, I think that was the first. But um, I'm definitely going back there again. Most definitely. All right, now the second thing, even though it came out two months ago, I finally got around to watching The Batman. And let me tell y'all, this movie does not disappoint. I mean, this movie is, is, I mean, this movie is pretty much, I mean, it, it was done right out of the mold of, of the Batman books. I mean, Matt Reeves, who wrote, I mean, co-wrote, directed and co-wrote the, the, the movie. Oh my goodness. I mean, we all kind of either raised an eyebrow or started screaming bloody murder when Robert Pattinson was was casted as Bruce Wayne and Batman, but let me tell y'all, he made a great Batman. And a great Bruce Wayne. And then, um, and then there were other roles, like Zoe Kravitz played both Selena Kyle and Catwoman. Um, Paul Dano played the Riddler. Um, I mean, I could just go on and on. Although, I really wasn't all that crazy about Andy Serkis playing Alfred. It, it, to me, it just seems like, uh, 
like every time they tried to, you know, they cast it Alfred. I mean, Michael Go was was the. I mean, even though he's no longer with us, to to me to to this day, he is still Alfred Pennyworth in my, yo, know, in my mind. I mean, Michael Caine, I he was okay. Jeremy Irons, no. And Andy Serkis, no. But everything else about it, you know, the the cinematography, you know, the story, the storyline in the movie, every everything else, it was spot on. And I wonder, and I honestly wouldn't um, mind seeing that again. And when it comes out on DVD, I, I wouldn't mind buying it. But if y'all slept on this on this movie, y'all need to wake up. It's very good. Two thumbs up. All right, that's it for comically speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> Alright, first up is Action Comics number 1042. The Amazing Spider Man number one. Aquaman number three. Batman Catwoman number eleven. Detective Comics number ten fifty nine. The Joker number 13. The Joker number 14. Justice League number 75, and no, your eyes are not deceiving you, that does say Je Death of the Justice League, but uh, check that out. Knights of X number one. Nightwing number 89. Nubia and the Amazons number 6. Robin number 13. Sabretooth number three. Silver Surfer Rebirth number three. I mean, sorry, number four. Yeah, I was thinking, wait a minute, huh? Did I already buy number three? Yeah, but this is number four. Teen Titans Academy number 14. Door number 24, or as the legacy number um, indicates, number 750. And finally, Trial the Amazons number 2. All right, at 17, which brings the total number of comics that I've bought since December of 1997 to 11,322. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode, the 400th episode of the Comic Hero Show. 
And here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of the show. Which Marvel character owns Area 51 in the comics? Now here's the hints again. The first hint is that this character is a founding Avenger in both the in the both the comics and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And in the second hint, this character has appeared in Marvel movies from 2008 to 2019 and was played by Robert Downey Jr. And you should be able to get that hint. You should be able to get the answer with that hint alone, rather. <laughs> All right, everyone who answers correctly, you've been in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Brittany Montoya from Shreveport, Louisiana, who won a free tea on this week's episode. All right, now here, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to draw five names for a 400th episode Comic Hero tee, just like the one I'm wearing. And I'm about to do so right now. And before I do this, I want to thank each and every one of y'all that, that has liked, loved, or left a positive comment on social media. As the young people would say, y'all understood the assignment. And because of that, I'm going to draw five names. And oh, this is going to be kind of hard to do because there, are four, there were 46 people who, who did this. So anyway, here we go. The first person who wins a 400th episode Comic Hero Teak is... Diane Rapon from Washington, Missouri. So congratulations, Diane. You win yourself a, a free 400th episode Comic Hero Teak. All right, one down and four to go. And the second person who wins a 400th episode Comic Hero Tea is... Larry Cotton from Alexandria, Louisiana. So congratulations, Larry. You win yourself a free 400th episode Comic Hero Tea. All right, two down and three to go. And the third person who, had, who wins a 400th episode Comic Hero Tea is... Martin Perez from Pottsville, Louisiana. So congratulations, Martin. You win yourself a 400th episode Comic Hero T. All right, uh, three down and two to go. And the fourth person who wins a 400th episode Comic Hero T is... Jessica Salinas from Sterlington, Louisiana. So congratulations, Jessica. You win yourself a 400th episode Comic Hero T. All right, last... Last one, and the last person who wins a, a free 400, a 400th episode Comic Hero Tea is, and I'm reaching as far down to, to this bag as I can. Aurora Mitchell from Shreveport, Louisiana. So congratulations, Aurora. You win yourself a free 400th episode Comic Hero Tea. And honestly, I wish I could just give a shirt to everyone. I mean, um, I just love doing the show and for those of y'all that whose name I haven't drawn or if y'all are interested in one I'm going to I'm going to sell this shirt on my website shirts like this one on my website I'm the comic hero.com for $15 and um, and oh and also congratulations to the names I've drawn and I honestly I just love doing the show I mean um, I just like sharing my love of, of comics and life with y'all and um and i'm going to continue to do so and also i want to make a toast a toast to y'all the fans this may be my show and i may enjoy doing it but the the um the feedback that i've gotten from y'all over the years i mean y'all i mean that your your feedback cannot go on cannot go unnoticed and is greatly appreciated so to the fans of the comic hero show and to the comic hero show itself and the best and the best is yet to come cheers what did y'all think I was just gonna take a sip Man, please. All right. All right, here's the road ahead for the show. On next week's episode, which is episode 401, I'm going to raise awareness of brain tumors. This month is Brain Tumor Awareness Month, 
and last year I raised it I raised awareness of it for the first time and I'm gonna do so again this month and then the week after that I'm gonna do two episodes of the comic hero show in one week and that's episodes 402 and 403 now there's a reason I'm doing this and that's because I'm gonna raise awareness of lupus and then I'm going to raise awareness of a, of a cause that I've never raised awareness of and it's something that really needs to be discussed and that's mental health. I'm going to raise awareness of that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for downing that old glass. <laughs> All right, and then on the final full week of, of May, I'm going to celebrate Memorial Day. Now, Memorial Day is when we honor the men and women that have served in any of the five branches of the U.S. military I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. But Memorial Day is when we um, we honor the men and women that have served in any of the five branches of the U.S. military who were either killed in action or missing in action or have died later in life. This episode is for them. And it's also for their families as well. And then, and that's episode 404. Now, on ep episode 405, which is the first episode of June, all the way through August, it's back, y'all, the Summer of Superheroes. And I can tell y'all right now that the first superhero I'm going to show some love to is Luke Cage. Yeah, I mean, he is the original Power Man, the original hero for hire. And uh, this this year marks the character's 50th anniversary. He made his debut back in 1972. I'm going to show some love to him. And, and then I'm also going to um, show some love to um, Thor, Spider-Man, and, and the Incredible Hulk. Uh, in episodes uh, after that because this is their this year marks their 60th anniversary and um, again I just love doing this show and if y'all have any um, positive feedback or any any you know any concern I mean any concerns or anything or any suggestions that y'all think would make the show better I'm all ears and y'all know I am all right, I'm Victor Nunley on a comic here. I'll see you next week for episode 401. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero!